Hey guys, welcome back to Dad's Van. Today I'm going to be doing the next step in our finished flooring project and that's going to involve uh, installing a step extension since we're going to be putting a galley kitchen here on the sliding door side of the van. We want to extend over the step so that we can put some flooring material here that the galley is going to go on top of. Now to do this, I've purchased a step extension from FVCO that we're going to install right here. And that's got a nice cubby too for storage um, so we can actually use that space under there. And it also comes with a nice uh, trim piece that's going to go along the edge here over the subfloor and finish flooring. And that's going to trim this out really nicely. So thanks for joining. Um, hopefully you find this video useful. And um, I've got links to all the products I'm gonna to use today in the video description. If you use those links, I do get a small commission, but it doesn't cost you anything more. So thanks so much for your support and let's check this out. All right, so in my case, um, because I'm reusing the Sprinter factory subfloor, um, there's gonna be a seam here uh, from the factory subfloor to the subfloor piece that's going to come out over the step extension and because there's a seam there um, we need something to help kind of reinforce that seam so that when you put any weight or pressure here you don't have any buckling and the way i'm going to do that is with this piece of one inch um, angled aluminum this is 16th inch thick and that's going to run right along here and provide support right at that seam so let's go get this cut and we'll get it drilled into the metal here on the side of the step wall. I measured out 27 inches on this piece of angle aluminum. You're going to need a non-ferrous cutting blade on your miter saw to cut through this smoothly. Alright, so on the end of the angle aluminum you just cut, you can use a file like this to kind of smooth that off, just so you don't have any sharp edges. Alright, to hold this angle aluminum on here, I'm going to be drilling four holes that are wide enough for a quarter twenty volt. So that on the back side, underneath the sprinter here on the back side of this metal wall, we can attach those bolts with um, some nylock nuts. A couple things you got to watch out for. There are some beams that go the width of the van and there's some impressions here where you can see that those beams are attached. So you, you need to avoid that um, when placing your holes. Um, to mark where I'm going to drill, I'm going to take this extension step like this, take a level or some, something straight. You could also use a long piece of angle aluminum. Then went ahead and traced a line underneath. And that blue line's right here. And then that's going to be basically where the, the top of my angle aluminum lines up with. And then I measured half an inch down from there and marked the four holes that we're going to drill. And I've got a step bit here, which makes nice clean cuts. I can control when I get to quarter. All right, so these are the two cross members you want to watch out for, but you can see here where I came through the quarter 20. 
much longer than I need, so I'll be getting some shorter stainless quarter 20s. And we'll be doing four of those going down. All right, so we got our four holes drilled on here. Next thing we need to do is mark this angle aluminum for where we're gonna cut um, the four holes on there. So in order to do that, just go ahead and hold it up against the side. Forming just a straight line through the middle of all the holes and then just go along and make a mark on the corner of the angle steel. Aluminum, sorry. All right, so we've got four marks on there. And now we can just uh, using a speed. Uh, speed square go ahead and draw lines on the other side so we can then um, drill the holes. All right we've got this marked out Again, using a speed square, just trace the lines from where we made the mark points. And then 9 16 down, we put a mark because again, the, this top part is a 16th and then we need to be a half an inch down uh, from the bottom of that. So 9 16 and then go ahead and use this punch. Prep those areas for drilling. Alright, go ahead and clamp this down. All right, we got our piece of angle aluminum, ready to install it. I've also taken a piece of closed cell foam weather stripping that I'm actually gonna put on the back side between the angle aluminum and the body. 
of the sprinter here just so there's no rubbing and squeaking which can happen when you have metal on metal um, so I've already drilled this out using this as a template just putting it on there and drilling through and we'll go ahead and attach that and get this bolted on All right, for attaching this, I've got stainless pan head bolts that are three quarter inch. And that'll be enough to go through this 16th angle aluminum, this uh, 3 16 closed cell foam, and the 16th steel on the sprinter wall here. Right, now we just tighten the nylock nuts on the back side to hold this all in place. All right, there's the finished product. Got this angle aluminum here, and we can now put a step extension on, and we'll lay a piece of subfloor over this and drill that subfloor in to this angle angle aluminum here, and then we'll use some Silcaflex to adhere this step down to the factory sprinter step. Now right, we got our piece of angle aluminum on, so next up we're going to measure the um, dimensions to cut the piece of subflooring that's going to come out to the edge here. All right, so we've measured what we need to cut. It's basically gonna be eight and a quarter by 30 long, and then we'll cut that angle on. All right, so here's our eight and a quarter by 30 um, 
there is a bit of a round here. If, if you want to be perfect, you could round this out, go in a little further, in which case you might want to go more like 30 and a half. I'm not too worried about it. We're going to finish flooring over this, so I didn't bother with rounding that corner. See a little bit of a gap there. And then to cut this angle, just make a mark in one corner there. Make a mark here. Connect the dots. And we'll cut that out. So this will be one inch stainless um, sheet metal screws that will go through the wood. It's got the flat head so it will sink into the wood. And then it will protrude out the bottom, but I've got these little red caps that will go over the screw tip head. Just so if anyone ever reaches into here, they don't scratch their hand on the tip of a screw. All right, so we pre-drilled four holes with an eighth inch drill bit. And now we'll take our one inch flat head. I just wanted to show you on the inside here, these little red caps can go over these screw tips. Just to keep people's hands safe. Don't want that to happen, right? <laughs> All right, now that we've got everything set up, we're ready to adhere the step extension to the step on the sprinter. And for doing that, we're gonna be using this Silcaflex 221 black adhesive sealant. So first thing you wanna do is clean off the step. Make sure you clean off this metal really well, just so you have the best adhesion possible. And we're going to be running a bead of the Silca Flex all along here. As well as along this edge here. And setting it down. 